how to create survey funnels using system.io hey guys this is shayan and in today's tutorial i'll show you a step-by-step -step process in which you can create your survey funnels or quiz funnels right within system.io not only that you can follow it up with your automation of email campaigns as well that means you can do email marketing based on the survey response or the quiz response that your users go through so that gives you an awesome choice of targeted marketing and it makes sure that you are presenting the exact offers that your customers are looking for so that being said without further ado let's jump over to this tutorial this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial so don't skip any part of it and let's dive inside of the tutorial right now so as you can see i'm within system.io now all that you need to do first of all is sign in and here is your dashboard now in here you need to go over to sites and then you need to go over to your funnels right so let's go over to a sales funnel okay now once within the sales funnel let's create create a new funnel so we'll create the funnel to build an audience let's give it a name like ai tools right so business recommendation according to their business will recommend the ai tools right now i'm going to select the objective as build audience now once this is created click on this and in here we need to create the opt-in page so for the opt-in page you can see there are plenty of templates available i've already shown you now there are plenty of them available as you can see you can feel free to choose any of them basically if you have anything that is actually going with your goal you can go ahead and choose that right now i'm going to create something from scratch so let's select any of them and uh, give it a url name right here so i've given it a name like business tools recommendation and then i'm going to click on edit page right click on that and boom there you go the editor has loaded now what we need to do is delete everything because i'm going to do it from scratch right so let me quickly delete everything done so now i'm going to add a section and within the section i'm going to add a headline just drag a headline over here and then add your headline like select your business goal based on your goal will send you a ai tool suitable for your business then you can format this headline you can give them different colors based on your choices or your company goals or your brand colors whatever you have right so it's very easy to do so i am giving a three color kind of headline so that it attracts people right so there you go it has been created now we need to add a bullet list right so for that i'm going to drag the bullet list element over here and in here i'm going to give out the list of tools that we have that is the uh, categories that we cover so the first thing we offer ai tools for video generation right secondly i'm going to say that ai tools for graphics generation and image editing and last but not the least ai tools for website creation right so i'm just uh, taking these three for this example you can go ahead and add as many as you want to then we want to add a video over here now the video can be a youtube video or vimeo video or you can directly upload a video as well the basic objective of the video should be to communicate with the user right so i have uploaded one of my videos over here you can feel free to upload anyone that you wish to now once all of this is done i'm going to add a survey element so for that i'll scroll down and in here you can find the survey element just drop it over here and there you can see now to edit the survey element all that you need to do is come over to the settings and click on edit survey questions right once you do that you can add your questions over here like i'm giving select the main goal of your business that you want to achieve with ai tools then i'm going to give a subtitles like select your business goal for best ai tools recommendation plus free training and then i'm going to give the choice of answers that people have so the first choice is going to be ai video generation and content creation or maybe video production video editing and content creation then i'm going to give graphics designing image editing and e-commerce product photography and lastly i'm going to give create website landing pages lms and sales funnel for my business now in here on the right hand side you can see in response to every question you can set a tag like whatever the answer is say for example if people are opting for video production video editing and content creation i can add a tag on them if they are answering like graphics design image editing i can add a separate tag like graphics so that i know exactly which customers are wanting which thing so tags are basically like list as you can imagine like you want to segregate people based on their choices with these tags right so i'm not setting up the tag right now but 
you can do that anytime you wish to. now we need to set up the final step wherein we can actually redirect the user to a new page we can open a new pop-up or we can display the final step as well if you want to redirect it to a completely other uh, website or a web page or a landing page you can do that as well but i'm going to display the final step where i'm going to collect their email address and their names right so once this is done you can see this is how it looks like and uh, this is the final step of us and then i'm going to actually edit that thank you page so again we are going to go over to the thank you page templates give a url over here this is basic right so you can change the url over here and then we are going to edit the page as per our liking so let's go ahead and click on edit page and in here we can actually customize the template that is already there like this right or what we can do is that we can build it from scratch again so for that we are going to delete the entire section as you can see it has been deleted and then i'm going to say uh, delete these sections as well so there you go i have almost have a blank page over here with a blank section so now let's go ahead and add a video to it i i'm going to customize this page as per my requirement like i can add a video i can add a headline i can add a bullet list i can add a button whatever i wish to right so i've added a button as well where i'm going to deliver the uh, lead magnet right so just click on the button over here and then you should select the download file option because i'm going to give a downloadable file over here right so let's upload the file that i want to give away to download so let me find it i have a 30 ai tools recommended pdf right so let's actually find that there you go so there is the pdf so let's attach this to the button so what this does is that whenever anybody clicks on this button the download will start automatically right so that's how we are going to deliver the lead magnet now once it's done we can actually change the things over here as well like we can go ahead and instead of click here we can give a meaningful name to this so you can just scroll down and on the left hand side you can find this button text and in here i'm going to write click here to download 30 ai tools for business growth right and then if you scroll further down you can find the subtext as well so let's scroll a little downward and here you go there is the subtext so in here i'm going to generate the scarcity like this download is valid only until the countdown timer expires that's it right then i'm going to add a countdown timer just to enhance the uh, fear of missing out factor and scarcity factor right and then on the countdown type i'm going to keep it delay right that means whenever people visit it it would be delayed by that amount so i'm going to keep it three days maybe one hour and uh, zero minutes that's it and from here the countdown will start every time they visits the page that means it will be a evergreen timer you can keep it a absolute timer as well that's up to you then i'm going to add a headline where i'm going to thank them for answering the survey and i'm also going to encourage them to watch the video to find out how to download the files right and essentially there should be a video where you explain everything right so i have given a placeholder but you can add your videos so now it's the important step is creating the email automation on based on the response right so for this i'm going to use chat gpt and i have asked chat gpt to create a three day email sequence for me right one two three emails right now we are going to go over to emails and we are going to create a campaign and we are going to name the campaign like ai video generator i've selected the sender email address and i'm giving the description over here once this is done i'll click on save and now i am going to actually come over here click on the campaign name and under that i'm going to click on create now in here i'm going to create the first email right so i'm going to give the subject straight from chat gpt right and then i'm going to use the classic editor and there my email body opens up now i am going to actually write the body from here just copy go over to system and then paste it now in here instead of first name i'm going to use the dynamic placeholder you can find it right on the substitutions click on that and click on first name so this would add personalization now once it's done you can see right down over here i have a, a affiliate link so for that let me find the affiliate link for video express ai so there you go let's copy this and let's paste it over here so there you go you can hyperlink it and enter the link over here and boom it's done now on the best regards in here you got going to give your name and boom you are done click on save draft 
and your draft is saved right now we need to actually activate the campaign so for that there are two ways one is you can come over to this campaign and click on activate and boom you can see it's asking for the activation type like this since this is the first email so i'm not going to choose after which email because this is the first email right i am not giving any delay as well that means whenever somebody is subscribed to the campaign they would receive this email straight away that's how if you want to receive it after one day you can add the delay over here if you want this email to come after some other email you can add it over here i'm going to show you don't worry now once it's done i'll click on activate and boom it would be done right so now it's time for addition of the second step. So for that, I'm going to add on create and this is going to be the second email. So again, copy the subject line, go back to system, give the subject line over here, select your sender, click on classic editor and then copy the body again, right? And then paste it on system.io and then add the personalization like we did from substitution, add your affiliate link and change the placeholder for the sender, right? So let's add the affiliate link. So there you go. Uh, there's a link that we want to add and boom, we are done, right? So now I'm going to show you the second way of activating. So for this, click on this arrow and click on save and publish. So this will activate it right away, right? Instead of going the other way. Now, as you can see in this email, I have selected the email after which this email will be sent is the first email that means i am building the sequence that is this email would only be sent after the first email has been sent and then i can give the delay now essentially the delay should be at least one day because you don't want to send three forward mails you don't want to bombard your customers straight away after they sign up so ideally this should be one day but here for this demo and tutorial purpose i am giving five minutes so that i can show you the results as well so once this is done, I'll click on activate and boom, this would be activated, right? Click on save and as you can see the status, there is a green tick mouse which means it has been done. So in the similar way, I'm going to create the third email as well. Let me quickly do that. So I'm uh, quickly doing this, right? And you can see this uh, in front of your eyes, but I'm not going through the commentary of this because uh, it's, it's a pretty much same thing that we are doing, right? So let's quickly change this. Let's add the affiliate link over here and uh, there you go done right so now we have done it so now i'm going to publish it again and this time i'm going to choose the second email after which it is going to be sent right and then i'm going to choose the delay so i'm again going to keep it five minutes but then you can keep it one day or two day whatever you like now you can see the email campaign has been created with three emails and as of now nobody has been sent so now it's time for us to create the automation rule. So for that, we'll go over to automations and within that there is rules. Click on that and boom, you would be redirected over here. Click on create, click on add trigger and then you can add the trigger like whenever a tag is added, then you are going to subscribe. Now what this does is that, remember I uh, shown you within the survey funnel, we had the option of adding tags based on the answers, right? Now, so suppose if anybody has selected video creation campaign, we would actually go ahead and add them within the AI content creation tag. And in here on the automation rule, but I'm saying that the trigger event trigger means when a I activity will start. So the trigger event is whenever people are added to this AI content creation tag, whenever a new people is added to this tag, then what is going to be their action? We are going to subscribe them to this AI video generator campaign. Now, similarly, you should have two other campaigns as well. For this demo purpose and tutorial purpose, I have created only one campaign for video generation. But for actual purposes, you should have three campaigns. One for video generation, one for graphics and one for website design, right? And those campaigns should have related tools in them like for video generation i have given three tools one is video express ai one is insta doodle and the other is create studio so in the same way you can go ahead and decide these campaigns and decide these tools as per user response right so that's a very important thing now once this is done i'll click on done you can see the rule has been added so here is the trigger here is the action and the status as you can see there is a green check mark which means your automation rule has been done so now we can go over to our sales funnel and let's go over to the funnel that we had created and let's open this up on incognito there you go so it has been created now in here on the opt-in page remember on the click here button you need to choose the action as submit form because once you do that 
the automation rule would be fired, right? So let's click on submit form and then we can go over to the next step, which is going to be the thank you page, right? So now this is done. So let's open this up on incognito and there you go. So it has been done. Now let's answer this as a video creation and then let's give a name and email ID and click here. Once this is done, we have been taken to our thank you page. In here, let's click on the button and in here, as you can see, the lead magnet has been delivered. Flawless, right? Now we need to check whether the emails are coming or not. So let's go over to our email box. And in here, you can see on the tags uh, in system.io, there has been, this guy has been added over here, right? The guy who has signed up. So it works perfectly. And you can also see the source. Let me show you. So if I go within the con contact, you can see it has come up from the source of this opt-in page and from this survey question, right? So you can see over here how the answer they have chosen has decided the tag. So now we are going to check whether we have got the emails or not. So here you are, there are the three emails as you can see and each of them has been delivered in a five minute interval as we had decided, right? And if we click on any of these affiliate link, it takes us to the sales page via our affiliate link, which means if they happen to buy anything, you get the commission. So that's how you can set up your entire survey funnel or a quiz funnel and you can add your affiliate link, your product links, your sales pages link, whatever you have and you can make a ton of money with this. Now remember all of this happened in a dynamic way. It's like the answer your contact chose. Based on that, we had got a response, right? So this makes sure that you get good conversions and this makes sure that you get a good open rate and this makes sure that your deliverability also remains high. So that being said, that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then help me with like. Let me know in the comment section if you have got any questions regarding any part of this tutorial. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, my friend, as yet, then please go ahead and do that because in this very channel, you get to learn about this kind of tricks that can help you to get ahead in your business. So that's it for this tutorial. We'll meet again on the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.